Hello everyone, this is Iklas from HN Service Provider and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can add Rails to NoFollow tag to all your WordPress posts or pages. First I am going to show you how you can add manually add Rails to NoFollow tag to all outbound link or post and then I'm going to show you how you can install a plugin that will help you to insert a relative to NoFollow attack to all your WordPress pages or posts. So I have written a blog post about this. If you go to my blog, then you will find this post. Please read this blog post and it will help you uh, to understand how you can actually add relative to NoFollow tag manually or automatically to external links. So if you check this post then you will find several links and this is one of the links and this is actually uh, going to my SU expert page and if you right click on your mouse and click on insert inspect element then you will see the code behind this and this is actually the code a target is good blank that means it will open in a new tab it will help you to reduce bounce rate of your website and the ref is showing the actual link that it will be directed to your visitors and SU experts is actually anchor text so you can see there is no well is equal to no follow tag available for this link because i have made this link as do follow so if you want to add rel is equal to no follow tag to a link then you have to manually add okay from the text window so let me edit this post and show you where i have actually added values to no follow tag manually for a link so wordpress is a great platform guys uh, if you want to learn wordpress then it's easy as eating pie you can easily uh, learn WordPress if you have time and patience. So I would like to request you if you're a newcomer to WordPress then please find your time and Learn WordPress quickly because this is one of the great platforms we have So this is actually the do follow link that I was talking about and if you scroll down you will find this post this is also containing uh, my post link so it will be a do follow but let me show you a nofollow link and this is actually a nofollow link so i have added real is to nofollow for this link now if i edit this link then it will not show real is to nofollow option because by default wordpress uh, does not provide us this option yet but i hope wordpress team will soon implement this change and we can add uh, Relative to no follow to any link, but for now, if you want to add relative to no follow link, then you have to uh, edit the code. So you have to go to the text window. This is the visual window, this is the text window. So I'm going to find out external links. Okay, this is external links one and two. Okay, here is that link that I'm, I was talking about. So you should install and then I input as well as the nofollow link. If you visit this post, then you will find out what I'm talking about. And actually, I have manually added this relative to nofollow tag right here so this is actually the url that will take you to the plugin page and it will open in a new tab it will help me to reduce bounce rate of my website and then i have added well as well no follow if you uh, visit the front end of this post and scroll down then you will see this link okay you should install external links by tennis by binary so if you right click on it and then hit 
inspect element then you can see there is a tag called rel is equal to no follow this rel is equal to no follow tag was missing in my previous link because that's all uh, directed to my own wordpress post or pages that's why i did not add rel is equal to no follow tag for those links but this particular link is actually uh, will take my visitors to outside website so i have marked this link as no follow so if you want to add relative no follow tag uh, to any link to any outbound link then you need to uh, visit the text version of this and you can manually type rel is equal to no follow uh, let me give you an, another example, a soft, easy example. Uh, suppose I want to link this uh, particular uh, keywords, then I can, uh, from this visual window, I can click on inside of edit link. Then, <clears throat> suppose I want to link this post for relative no follow text, and I put this and make sure that this will open in a new tab or window. So I added this link by hitting add link button and this is actually the follow tag because I did not manually put well as no follow so I have to uh, find out the code for this one in the text panel and then I can add well as no follow just this is actually uh, the anchor text where I have added the link and all i need to do is to add rel is equal to double quote no follow if i want to make this uh, link as no follow this is very easy so after uh, hit it after i added this uh, you need to save your post or update your post and you can uh, actually see the front end and it will be a no follow link for that anchor text so this is how you can manually add uh, rel is equal to no follow to a link i'm not going to add that link as no follow because uh, this is the tutorial i'm making and i don't want to add any uh, no follow tag for any of my links so let me go to a plugin called external links wordpress plugins this will actually uh, help you to include rel is equal to no follow tag to all your post links or pages links and if you it's a great plugin you can check uh, and you can install these plugins if you want to save your time i mean manually adding no follow uh, that will be time consuming. So if you want to save your time, you can ins install external links, uh, WordPress plugins. So plugin installation is very simple. Uh, you need to uh, log into your WordPress dashboard and mouse over to plugins and hit on add new. Here you can type external links and hit enter button of your uh, keyboard and it will take some time to load but it depends on your uh, net connection so you will see external links plugin this is the one i was talking about then is the banradi a great fella who and mike kyoki these two fellas make this great plugin and makes our life very easy so hit on install now after that you need to activate this plugin by hitting activate plugin so once it's activated you need to uh, mouse over to settings and then click on uh, external links okay the plugin is installed so i'm going to mouse over to settings and then click on external links okay this is the settings page and you can see by default apply to text visits treat subdomains as local and add no follow these three options are by default selected 
So if you want to apply uh, these settings to all urban links on the slide except those in the scripts style or, and the HTML has section, then you can uh, select the first option. In my case, I will select this option because I want all my outside uh, our outbound links as no follow. And if you want to automatically convert text URLs, then you need to select the fourth version. I'm uh, sorry, the fourth uh, option. And if you want to show an icon, then you can select this one. But uh, I will not going. I'm not going to select this because I don't. I don't want to uh, show any icon to outbound links. But yes, I definitely want to open outbound uh, links to a new U window or tab. So I will um, select this option, exclude HTML code block, this is optional and it's not mandatory in my case, I'm uh, going to leave it like this. And this section is very important, look what this section is saying, domains and subdomains should be separated by a comma, a space and queries return. Okay, so external site domains that should be excluded from processing, this is telling you uh, to include website name or domains uh, that will uh, actually uh, will not take part of this uh, external link process so if you want to make all your uh, post links outside post links or outbound links or external links as no follow then you need to select the first options and if you want to uh, exclude some domains as do follow so you need to include the, those domains in this section so in my case i'm going to uh, type facebook.com youtube.com twitter.com linkedin.com because i have uh, a link for my facebook page twitter page uh, twitter account google plus page linkedin account so I don't want to mark them as no follow and I want them as do follow so uh, for all those links I want do follow I have to include the domains in this section okay once you included all the domains that you want as do follow then you need to hit on save changes button and you are done so I'm not going to hit save changes here as I have already installed this plugin for one of my clients website this is my clients website and if you uh, check the insert element of an outbound link you can find what I was, uh, I was talking about so right click on this link and then here on inspect element and then you will see rel is equal to no follow tag is added by default because i have added external link wordpress plugin for this website and it will open in a new tab tag is equal to Bang. This is a great WordPress plugin if you want to uh, add rel is equal to nofollow tag manually then you need to uh, edit the code from the text uh, window and, but if you want to add rel is equal to nofollow tag to all your post links automatically uh, then you can install this plugin and you can exclude the domains that you want us to follow by uh, editing this section and hit the saving button, search this button. So, this is it. If you want to read the text version, then you can visit my blog and read this post. So, stay tuned. Thanks, and hope you will find this post. Sorry, this tutorial very helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Bye.